When people are exploring your site, they want quick answers to their questions. With an AI assistant built in OpenAI and supported with your company's key information, you can give your customers and leads accurate answers to critical questions in seconds. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set it all up with an OpenAI assistant, a form, a text document, and a simple Zapier automation. Hi, I'm Tom from X-Ray Tech, the workflow company. At X-Ray, we use automation and AI tools to help businesses save time and create a better experience for their customers and employees. To learn more about X-Ray and our services, just go to our website, xray.tech. You can see more automation tips and tutorials every week here on this channel, so be sure to like this video and subscribe. Turn on those notifications too. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate an example automation that lets users easily interact with an AI to get a quick quote for your services. I'll show you how to create an AI assistant that refers to an external document, like a pricing guide, how to set up a form to gather user requests, and how to build an automation that sends those requests to the AI. Finally, the AI-generated quote will be sent directly to the user. There's a lot to cover, so let's get started. First, you'll need to create a document that includes relevant information for building a quote or for handling any other user requests that you might want to automate. This document is the primary source of information that will let your AI assistant give a good answer, so make sure it's as comprehensive as possible. If you're a physical services-based company, like a plumber or electrician, you could just download the pricing PDFs from your suppliers instead, or in addition to, creating your own doc to train the AI assistant. You can create this doc in any app like Google Docs, Microsoft Word, or a similar word processor. As long as the app lets you export your doc as a PDF, it's fine. Here, I've got a pricing sheet for a fictional painting company. It covers all the parameters that the company will use to draft an estimate, including the total square footage, interior or exterior, the timeline for completion, and more. Once your pricing guide or other document is ready, export it as a PDF. In Google Docs, you can find that option under File and Download, then just select PDF Document. Now, let's create an OpenAI assistant that can calculate an estimate based on this document. To begin, go to platform.openai.com and sign into your account. You'll need to have a payment method on file, and you'll be charged for using OpenAI's API. However, these charges will be very small. We're talking about a few cents per request, or maybe less depending on the model that you use. Also, new accounts begin with a $5 API credit, so you can try it out without even spending a penny. Once you're signed in and your account is set up, click on Assistance in the left-hand menu. Then create a new assistant. Give your assistant a descriptive name. I'll call mine Painting Estimate Assistant. Next, give it some instructions. This is where you can tell it how to behave. I'll start with a simple directive. You are a helpful AI assistant who gives users quick estimates for painting jobs through Smith & Son Painting and Decorating. You help them to understand what price they can expect to pay for painting based on the parameters in the attached file. You could copy and paste all of the pricing information here if you'd like, but I think it's often better to attach it as a separate document instead. Ultimately, it will make it a bit easier to update and maintain the assistant when we need to make changes to either the pricing guide or the basic instructions. We can just check the file name to make sure we have the most up-to-date version of the pricing guide without needing to read through all of the text and look for discrepancies. Scroll down to Files and click on Add to upload your doc. Then. To make sure that the assistant can access the doc, enable Retrieval. Next, I'll go back up to the Model field underneath the instructions. This is where you'll pick the exact model that the AI assistant should use. Different models will have different capabilities and pricing structures, with more advanced models typically costing a bit more. You can learn more about that on OpenAI's website. We've added some helpful pages to the resources board linked in the video's description. For this tutorial, we're going to use GPT-4 1106. You can also use GPT-3.5 Turbo 1106 if you'd like, as both models support document retrieval. However, while the 3.5 model is cheaper than GPT-4, we've found it to be more prone to mathematical errors and logic errors while testing. If you want to ensure that your answers are as accurate as possible, it's worth it to use GPT-4 instead. We don't need any functions or code interpreting for this assistant, so I'll just leave those as they are. Once your assistant is configured, click on Save. Now, let's give it a test. To try out your assistant, just click on the three dots next to the name and select Test in Playground. This opens up a simple interface where you can view and edit your assistant's settings on the left and send messages on the right. 
Note that sending messages through the playground will still incur charges, but as I noted earlier, these will be very, very low amounts. Less than a cent per message for most models and messages. I'll send a simple prompt that covers all of the key parameters in our pricing guide. I need to paint the exterior of a 3,000 square foot home using weather resistant premium paint. I need the job to be completed within a week. How much will that cost? Then I'll click run to send the message. You'll have to wait a little bit and you won't see the message typing out one word at a time like you would with ChatGPT. But after a few moments, your assistant's response will appear. Ours has given us a thorough breakdown of the price based on the parameters outlined. If you'd like to tweak the assistant's behavior, you can edit its settings in the left-hand panel. Once you've got your assistant up and running, you'll need to create a form where users can submit a request for a quote. Each new form submission will be sent to your OpenAI assistant via Zapier, making it easy for your users to get an AI response through a simple, familiar form interface. You can create your form in any number of apps. Just make sure that for whatever app you're using, the form responses will be collected in a convenient spot. To make things easy, I'll just use Airtable. Airtable is a versatile database app that lets you create forms out of a database and embed those forms into any website. You can learn more about using Airtable in our Airtable Beginner's Guide or see how it stacks up against Google Sheets in our comparison video. If you'd like to follow along with Airtable as well, you can create a free account to get started. In this database, we already have a table with a column for each piece of data we'll need, such as the total square feet, interior or exterior, and other key information. We've also got a view for new requests that hasn't received a response yet. When we create a form, every column is converted into a label with a field for user input, except for automatically populated fields like created date. I'll just edit these labels into simple questions for a more user-friendly experience. I'll also remove this estimate sent field since that's not something the user should fill in. We'll update that column after sending the user their quote. Once your form is all set, publish it and copy the link where it can be accessed. Then fill out your form with some test data so you have something to work with as you're building your Zap. I'll fill out some test data now. And I'll click Submit. When I go back to my Airtable base, I can see my answer right here. Again, you can use any form and database apps that you want. Just make sure that your form submissions can be easily accessible in something like Airtable or Google Sheets. Now let's create a Zap to send your users form submissions to your AI assistant. To start, create a new Zap in Zapier. For your trigger, choose new record or an equivalent option for your specific app. Then sign into your account. Now I'll pick the base and table I want Zapier to watch. I'll also specify the no estimate sent view to make sure that we don't send estimates out twice for the same request. Once your trigger is configured, give it a test. I can see the same record I just submitted from earlier. So we're good to continue. Next, add an action and I'll choose ChatGPT as the app. For the event, select conversation with assistant. Sign in to your OpenAI account. This should be the same account that you used earlier to create your assistant. Now you can compose the message that will be sent to your OpenAI assistant. Make sure to use all of the relevant data from your form here, along with labels so your assistant can easily parse the message. I'll keep it simple. Please provide a quote for a painting job based on the following data. And I'll list out all of the key parameters from the form. Once you've finished your message, pick the assistant you want to use from the list. If you don't see it here, make sure that you're using the correct account and organization. All of these options are the same settings we saw in OpenAI when configuring our assistant. You can leave them all blank if you want to use the same settings you already configured in OpenAI. If you wanna override any of those settings in this automation, then you can fill them out here. I'm fine with all these settings I already specified in OpenAI, so I'll leave all of these fields blank and test the step. When you're using AI actions in Zapier, you'll have to wait a little longer than usual for the test to run. But after a little bit, the test completes and everything looks good. You can scroll down a bit through the test data to find the AI's output. The answer looks thorough and based on my math, it looks correct too.
Now the last two steps are to send this AI generated message to the user who submitted the request and to update the corresponding record in Airtable to indicate that an estimate was sent. I'll go over both of those quickly, since they're pretty simple. Just add a Gmail step or a step for any other email client that you prefer and compose a message that includes the AI response. In your message, be sure to note that the estimate is generated by AI and its accuracy isn't guaranteed. Let the customer or lead know that they should reach out to you directly for more information. Another important thing to note here is that the AI's answer is stored in a Zapier variable called full response. Once your message is all set, give it a test. And I can see the test message right here in my inbox. Finally, I'll add one more step to update the Airtable record. This will just indicate that an estimate was sent. You may want to include the text of the estimate in the notes field here. I'll test this step. And when I check Airtable, I can see the checkbox in the estimate sent field is filled in. The record no longer appears in the no estimate sent view and instead can be seen in the appropriate estimate sent view. Once you're done testing each step, turn the automation on and publish it. And lastly, it's always a good idea to give everything a live test. So I'll fill in the form one more time. After a couple of minutes, I get a message in my inbox with an AI generated quote, and it looks like the math checks out. So we're all set. With an automated AI assistant, you can give your customers and leads accurate answers faster than ever before. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. How are you using AI assistants to complement your work? What other workflows would you like to see us cover on the channel? Our number one goal here is to help you create more time with the tools you're already using, so we'd love to hear from you. If you've enjoyed this video, prove you're human, like and subscribe for more automation tips every single week. If you'd like to learn more about low-code automation and workflow design, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can check all those links in the resources board down below, and as always, find your focus and stay in flow. Trying to future-proof yourself? Start designing the way your team works with no-code tools, automation, and AI. In X-Ray's Workflow Designer course, we'll show you how to break down every part of a process to find the best opportunities for automation, and how to integrate those automations into your team's daily work. You'll learn how to create time for your entire team, get more reliable results, and give everyone a newfound clarity and confidence in their work. Just go to this URL to learn more. The entire package includes over two hours of premium video content, challenging example projects, and tons of helpful resources. The course costs just $250 and gives you lifetime access to a Slack community of workflow designers building systems in dozens of different industries. Space is limited, so join the free waiting list today to get notified as soon as the course is live later this year. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you soon in our workflow designer course.